Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another COD Mobile video. Today we are gonna check out some very early balance changes for Season 4, so definitely make sure to watch the full video and also do not forget to enter into my new Battle Pass giveaway, all the steps are down below in the description. And with that being said, here we go. So first we have a Creek 6 ADS speed boost nerf for the firm grip tape from minus 25% to minus 15%. So a pretty big nerf in terms of ADS speed for the Creek 6. Next, the HE40's chest multiplier was increased by 0.1 and the upper arm multiplier was increased by 0.05. Not bad at all for the HE40. Next, for the Cordite, the second damage was increased by 1 for MP. The head multiplier was increased by 0.2. For MP, the lower arm multiplier was increased by 0.2 and finally the first damage range was increased by 2. As a fan of the Cordite, I'm definitely happy with this. Moving on, the Razorback is going to be a lot more usable in Season 4 as they have increased the second and third damage range, plus the head multiplier was increased from 1.1 to 1.3. Next, the PDW's lower arm multiplier was increased by 0.1 and the damage range was increased for the first and second range. It is really nice to see a lot of these older guns getting some love in the new season. So, so far, I'm really happy with these adjustments. Next, another OG gun is getting buffed and that is the Outlaw, where the damage range was increased, the hip flinch was reduced to 2 and the base breathing time was increased from 0.5 to 2. So some really nice buffs to the Outlaw. Next, the MK2 is going to be a lot faster in Season 4 as they have increased the base movement speed by 3%. So very nice. The DRH is getting a surprisingly massive buff as well. So firstly, the ADS time was reduced by 15 milliseconds and the bullet spread accuracy was also increased. To be honest, I don't really think this was necessary, but yeah, let's wait and see how effective it is going to be. Moving on, the AS Val's ADS time was also reduced, plus they also buffed its bullet spread accuracy and that buff to the bullet spread accuracy is absolutely massive as you guys can see. Next, the PPSH's damage was increased by 1 on the first and second profile, plus the sprint to fire time was reduced by 50 milliseconds, which is pretty massive. Next, the M13 has received some buffs and some nerfs, so it has been adjusted. So, for the RTC heavy long barrel, they added bullet speed boost attributes, so very nice. For the RTC silencer, it now no longer reduces ADS time, it also no longer increases ADS bullet spread. They also added damage range and bullet spread attributes as you guys can see. The final change to the RTC silencer is the recoil penalty was increased to plus 15%. The final change for the M13 is a buff to the RTC combat stock, where they increased the ADS time reduction. Overall, I don't think the M13 really needed to be buffed or adjusted, however, I don't also really mind it, so yeah, okay. Moving on, we now have some changes to operator skills. So, for the War Machine, you're now able to activate it quicker, plus the required ammo was increased from 8 to 10. Next, the bull charge is getting a pretty sizable nerf as well. Now, after every kill, it uses more energy. So basically, your energy will run out much faster the more kills you are getting. Next, the death machine's ammo was increased by 30 and the sparrow's ammo was increased from 7 to 9. So nice changes for both, especially the sparrow. The final change is for the transform shield, which now requires less energy to unlock it. So okay, that is some early balance changes for Season 4. Overall, I'm really happy with these changes so far for the most part. A lot of OG guns which really needed to be buffed were. So yeah, I'm liking that quite a lot. However, definitely give me your thoughts and opinions down below of what you guys think so far. And with that being said, that is going to be all for today's video. So thank you for watching, have a great day, and for now, squally out, and cheers, catch you in the next one, and bye.